Hey everyone, Amber Temerity here, and I wanted to take a moment today to share with you a over-the-shoulder sort of sneak peek into how exactly I go about scheduling out my content for Pinterest. There are a number of different ways to go about scheduling out your content, so feel free to take what I teach you in this quick little tutorial today and do with it what you will. Some strategies will work better than others, and that's part of what we're doing here today is just giving you a glimpse into what I do so then you can kind of mold it to make it your own. So one of the very first options is to schedule out using source pages. If you're not familiar with a source page, you can see up here the Pinterest.com slash source slash thriftyguardian.com. So obviously this is a source page for my website. So it's nice when you're pulling content to sometimes schedule out things that have been pinned from your website by somebody else just a nice little way to mix things up. Also, you could also pull a source page from somebody else. So let's say, as I know that Kids Cash and Chaos, um, I know that Emma, who runs this website, she's always pinning amazing stuff that relates to my niche. So I know that this domain is one that I could trust. So Likewise, if you've already got domains or you already know other fellow bloggers or other businesses that are posting content that relates to what it is that you pin, then you might also utilize their source pages. And again, from here, you could just click the browser extension for Tailwind and schedule these out. Another thing that I do is, of course, I utilize my group boards. Now, if you are in any sort of group boards that are more general or generic, like maybe the best of Pinterest pals, I wouldn't necessarily use that on a regular basis to cultivate content. Here, we really want to pick ones that are very specific to what it is we're looking to pin just for efficiency's sake. So again, I can go through here. Now, I will say with Tailwind, and I don't know if it's my browser or uh, just me, but I noticed that if I scroll down, not only does this help me take a look at what it is that's available for me to schedule out, but it helps when I click the browser extension to pull more than just five or ten pins. And so given that I know all of these pins are related to being more productive, I can select as many of these as I want, keeping in mind whether I'm selecting my own or someone else's, trying to keep that well balanced. And obviously I would keep clicking through, but again, for this tutorial, I'm just going to click a few. I'd hit go schedule, and then I would put them on a board that relates to productivity. So I could do my save time board list. And um, obviously, ideally, you'd be picking one that has <laughs> more than just two, especially since I'm already pulling it from that group board. But even just doing one board, that's not a big deal. If you do do more than one board, a number of different boards, like let's say these pins were related to bloggers, I could totally use all of these. But I would definitely want to first make sure that I'm not getting this little yellow guy here that's telling me, hey, you pinned to these. I'd want to make sure that this hasn't been too recent. But also, I would want to set an interval so that they're not all being pinned. It's not the same pin being pinned, you know, once a day or even once every two or three days. So I usually do it closer to about a week or so, and then I always do the optimized when I'm setting the interval. But again, you could also just do these to one specific board. Another way that I cultivate content is by going and utilizing the search function because as we know, Pinterest is a search engine. So I would just click, if I click search, it pulls up what's trending. And so for me, I see bullet journal ideas. Obviously, I know that that relates to my niche, so I would click that. As you can see, one of my recent searches is easy vegan breakfast ideas, because while I'm not necessarily targeting vegans, this was something that was trending on Pinterest a few days ago, and so I used that. 
but I would go ahead and click bullet journal. And then just as I did before, I'm going to click the browser extension and plug all of these into at least one of my boards. Now, along these same lines, whether you're picking a trending idea or not, you want to be specific in your search, and that way you can still pin it to even just one board, but if you are just pinning from your smart feed, and you're scheduling out from your smart feed, that's where the time consuming part can come into play, because you're going through and having to select each individual board and which pin does this fit, which board does this fit. So really being specific like this, even if again you're only pinning 20 pins to one board, that's not a bad thing because it's really going to save you time in the long run. Then moving over to Tailwind in terms of cultivating content. Again, you ideally want to be focusing more on the more niche specific tribes. That said, obviously you want to follow the rules for any general tribes that you might be a part of. So really just taking a few minutes for each of your tribes and going in and scheduling out content that fits one or more of your blogs. Easy way to get some content here and again make sure that you are following the rules as they're usually repinning one for every one of your own that you pin. Then there is also going to your board insights. And here, obviously, you're going to find a lot of great information in general about your boards. But then you can also go and click find similar content. So again, being niche specific, don't do this with like your best of boards. And as this opens up, it's going to give me a number of different pins that might be related to the Hungry Bloggers board. So I could do this, and then I could even add in one of my other boards, and again, use the interval. Um, if it's just two boards and you've got a number of different gaps throughout your schedule, you could skip doing the interval at this point and then sort of shuffle your queue after you post all of these. And then lastly, in terms of pulling content, you obviously, of course, want to be keeping an eye on your pin inspector, which again is under the optimized content. And here, again, just with your board insights, you're going to find information in general that is of use to you, just like you would in your analytics as well on Pinterest. But here, you can take a look at what you've got going on from your own website. You could pin based on the number of repins. So if you see something, whether it's of yours or of somebody else's, you might want to reschedule depending to on the last date. For me, I always change it to at least be two or three months back. And so again, just kind of, you know, maybe rescheduling, not just my own content, but others, if I see that there's zero repins, been, didn't get a lot of action, adding that back in. Um, conversely, going the other route, what ones are getting a lot of repins, when were they last pinned, maybe I want to schedule that, or again, finding similar content, just like we did with the board insights, having this up. Um, I will say, and you can see here, it does sometimes pull uh, some of your own stuff, <laughs> especially if it was pinned to your best of board. You're going to notice that you get a couple of your own things, but that's not always the case. So this is, again, something easy way to go in, see what's trending, see what needs help, see what's worth ignoring. Um, all really great information to use. And the more that you use it, the more that you work with and again, hone in on what strategies work specifically for you and your niche, the easier it's going to become to cultivate this content, to get it scheduled out to where you're only spending, you know, half an hour to an hour a week on Pinterest and generating thousands in terms of page views. As always, if you have any questions at all about this or anything Pinterest related, you can reach out to me via the Facebook group Pinterest Pals or email me at amber at thriftyguardian.com. Thanks so much for tuning in.